And if you feel like putting spots on something, you go right ahead and do it. The spot police won't come and arrest you. Hello arty friends, it's Lee here. Thanks for joining me. Big welcome to anyone who's here for the first time. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Lee Elks. I live on the Sunshine Coast and I love playing with paint, paper and glue. And I love to share my enjoyment of making art and junk journals with you. I put out new videos every week. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and you'll never miss out on something new to do. So I want to do something arty. So I think maybe I'll do a double page. I'll just sew up two pages anyway. So with this book, because it's not actually an art journal, or it is sort of an art journal, but it is a book designed to be used with alcohol markers. So I, su I guess it's a mixed media page, but you can create your art on anything. You can paint on newspaper, or magazines, cereal boxes, whatever you like, whatever you can get your hands on is completely fine. The only thing I would tell you is if you've got gesso, use it before you start because it's going to make the world a difference to the um, paper standing up to the strength or to the strength, strengthening the paper to stand up to the wet paints and things that you're going to be throwing at your page, I guess, with wild abandon, if you're anything like me. Okay, so we have the afternoon rush to get home, Friday afternoon. <laughs> Excuse the traffic noises. I live on a corner and the suburb I live in is Well, there's only two roads in and out of it and one of them Is not where I live, but it's around the corner So everyone comes off the main drag and down either to one of two roads one going past my place And yeah, so we get the cars slowing down then we get the cars taken off and everything in between. Okie dokie, so um, what am I going to do? I think the best place to start is to just get some paint down. So I should try, um, try off, dry off the gesso before I start. Alrighty, that's dry enough to work on. A little bit tacky there, but that's alright. I'm going to put down a little bit of um, paper to any of you people, lovely people, that are watching this video, live on the Sunshine Coast. In Queensland, Australia, Southern Hemisphere, the world. So if you live on the Sunshine Coast, let me know in the comments. Because I had a really lovely message from somebody who lives here as well, and they are a junk journaler. And she's trying to organise a get together. Not a workshop or anything like that, just something like a coffee, maybe, I think. And bring your journal and show it off. So let me know in the comments so I can pass your details on to her if you are interested. Okay, I ended up adding a couple of more, shut up bird, um, <laughs> bits of um, paper because it <laughs> I'm going to go outside and frighten that bird away before much longer. Um, yeah, a couple more pieces of paper on here. I, I just wanted to have the chance for some of the paper to be showing through at the end. So the more of it I put down, the more likely that is to happen. So now I would like to just use some white gesso again just to blend these in and I'm using this brush and you might recognize it as um, a hairdresser's brush and you would be right because I bought it because I was going to have a go at doing my own foils many many years ago 
um, and I bought it and that's as far as I got so I never ended up doing the foil so I don't know if I am was meant to be a hairdresser or not but <laughs> I kept the brush for some reason and I thought it might come in handy for doing stuff like this because it um, is really quite stiff and it leaves nice scratchy um, brush marks which I really like All that's doing is knocking that back a little bit, not too much. And now I want to start adding some paint on there. Okay, so this is going to have to dry off. And we've got rid of the white. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And then we'll come back and throw some more things at it. So I want to draw a couple of these on my page. I've just gone out the garden and picked them. Picked that off the tree. So I needed some inspiration. It's fairly simple. But sometimes it's just nice to have something to to use as a guide. going to paint my leaves green I don't believe I think I'm going to paint them in some other nice bright colors I think a filbert would be good for this one so it's sort of got a rounded end it's a flat brush with a round end on it and I moved the, I moved the table up so I can stand and do this so if I was out of frame. I'm sorry about that. Let me just take that back a bit. Okay so I've got some turquoise already out on my bit of paper that I'm using for a palette. Can you see that? Probably not. Let's go out a little bit further the wrong way. There we go. Got some turquoise. And I'm going to put a little bit of white with that. So I'm going to have some turquoise leaves. Oh, that's, that brush is a bit big. Okay. 
go in the water. And how about we try this one? It's a bit smaller. And I'm not wetting the brush because I want to keep the paint nice and solid like that. the colour. We'll need to add some water at some time though, because eventually when you're painting with acrylics they run out of moisture and you need a little bit of water to spread them around. I'm not worried about really keeping within the lines. And I want to vary the colours don't want them to be all the same. Oops, it's a little bit out of hand, but that's okay. Okay, so I have my background of my my um, leafy, planty things coloured with different shades of blue. And what I'd like to do before I go any further is um, is to just put a little bit of stamping in the background. I've got this colour. It is called London Fog. And I have a text stamp here. So I'm just going to put some random stamping in there. This is a really... Um, it's the word subtle colored ink it's a bit I think it's a bit like lost shadow that Tim Holtz one oh, looks like a bit of green on the on the stamp but it doesn't matter um, yeah I just well, I thought of this just before I should have done it earlier but I did forget okay so we some up the wrong way that's nice and it doesn't matter if it gets on the plant because I'm going to paint over it. So my intention is to use, make some colours from Quinacridone Magenta and this colour called Wattle. So between the two of them they'll make nice orangey sort of colours. So what I want to do is use a little bit of gesso if I need to with them. So I'm just going to put a few blobs of these colours out. So that's the yellow wattle and a little bit of the quin magenta. This is a liquid paint this one so it's a flow paint. The other one is a medium bodied paint. So I don't need too much. And I'll just put a little bit of white out. might need to get more of that I'm not sure might even have to put some in the background I've also got here um, it's 
metallic fuchsia so I might use a little bit of that oh and I forgot about this color that I wanted to use which is a warm yellow so oops it is an orangey yellow okay so I'm just going to go over these colors so what will happen is there'll still be a bit of the blue visible uh, but we'll have those other colors on top Ooh. Get a bit of, if I mix some magenta, um, mix a little bit of gesso in, then it becomes a little bit more opaque. Something I like to do too is to get more than one colour on the brush at a time, and then you get this sort of effect. I really like that. Now what I'll also be doing with this one, as I said, probably putting some more gesso in the background, just to lighten back um, some of those areas. See that's not standing out from the background enough for me. Um, and then I'll also be uh, doodling a little bit. So I'll probably go over these a couple of times with different um, mixtures of the paint, changing it up here and there. So I'll just fast forward you through this bit and come back when this is done. <laughs> dry and I'm just going to put a little bit of gesso in the background um, and I want to scrape it on I don't want to use a brush so I'm going to use a silicon brush to apply it and then maybe spread it around a little bit but I don't want a lot of it I just want it to calm down the darkness that's here um, what happens with acrylic paint is it darkens as it dries so you might put some on and then think it looks perfect and then come back a little bit later and it's like really dark and I just like the way this puts that sort of uneven coat of paint onto the page it spreads it really thinly too which is great Some, a couple of mark making tools here 
So that's a little clay stamp. I mean, it's plastic, but it's for stamping into clay. And this is just a piece of that um, stuff that you put on your shelf or in your drawer to stop your bits and bobs from flopping around everywhere when the drawer opens and shut. shuts. So I'm just going to put a few marks in here. And I was going to use the black, but I think I'll just um, use a bit of the colours that I already have on the page for, to do that with. just make sure you can see what I'm doing so um, I've just got some of the paint spread on my piece of paper that I'm using for a palette and I'm dipping dipping that into it and then applying it to the page so I'm happy for it to go over the flower um, the stems and things in some places might put a little bit of the yellow, the warm yellow on there as well. And as you can see, I'm not cleaning my brush as I mix those. Okay, whoops, into the wrong thing there. These colours, I don't, I don't care if they cross, cross pollinate, get married up together. to go over both the pages like that okay now do I want some black in there or not to think about that um yeah I think I will put a little bit of black in there's gonna be black in there anyway to find a clean spot on this. So I want it to mix with the yellow because it'll turn green. It'll turn the yellow green I should say. So I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. And I'm going to use this thing which does these little arches. So that's enough of that, except for that one. And I'm going to go into the black with this thing. Pop some black bits on there. Possibly just in the corners. I love this little piece of rubber. Okay. Before it dries off, I think I might just go over these flowery, flowery, leafy things again. And I want a little bit more of this gesso. Just want to brighten them up a little bit. And what I love about doing this layering is that you get to see pretty much everything that you've put on the page on there before you can still see it so that's nice Okay, so that's all dry and the next thing I want to do is pop on a bit of this metallic fuchsia. Just to add a little bit of um, shimmer 
to the leaves. It's really transparent, so um, if I put it over the orange and the yellow, it's really going to show. Um, they'll show through. So. Oh, I probably can't see that. Probably not coming through on the screen, but when it's dry, I'll, I'll hold it up closer and give you a little squiz at it. Might make nice splatters that colour. I'll just pop it over there out of the way. And the next thing I want to do is use a, an art pen, so a black paint pen, I should say, and just go over all the outlines. Um, I'm holding this really quite loosely and I don't care whether it doesn't, um, you know, it goes outside the lines or whatever, it's fine. hold it up and see whether I can show you in that sunshine the um, metallic paint. I'm not sure if it'll show or not. I hope it does. Okay, so that's annoying that. Okay. Can we move across? The thing is if I set change the setup um, the sun will go away because it's that it's that sort of day where it's cloudy one minute. And I don't know whether I want to put some white on these leaves or not. And I don't want to try one and then decide I don't like it because then I've got to commit myself to doing the rest of them. So maybe on. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. I just do it really loosely. Okay, so I'm glad I decided to do that now. Yeah. It's all part of the layering process, I guess. So you don't just layer when you're doing collage and things you can layer when you're doing this sort of stuff and um, acrylic paint loves to be layered and you get your best results when you layer it because um, because it's all semi-transparent to a certain extent even though paints will say that they're opaque um, they still have a certain amount of transparency to them, especially uh, if you use them in a certain way, water them down or whatever. So, um, yeah. Okay, so that looks really nice. 
Yeah, I'm just going to look at that and see whether I think it needs anything else. Um, I was just wondering if a few smudges of that paint just in a couple of places might look alright because it's, as I said, it's so transparent. I want to go around the edge of the page with black anyway too so um, I'll do that in a moment. It's subtle this isn't it? So unfortunate with that sun shining in there. Okay so I'm going to get some black paint and uh, go right around the edge. Just a little bit of mark making to finish it off. Last thing I want to add on there is some splatters in that fuchsia colour. So I think it's gone dark in here now because oh, it just started raining. Have a look at this. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's really nice. I just think there's something missing. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it does need a little bit of green on it. are enjoying or have enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button it's the easiest way you can help me out because um, and do if you can do that that would be very good for me because it means that YouTube will show my video to other people they think oh there must be something good going on there everybody's giving it a thumbs up so let's promote it okay so I do want to just go around some of these I'm 
I like these dots on these black spots. So they're spots with dots. put spots down here as well I don't know let's just put an outline on them to start with no oh, why not I feel like doing it so I'm going to do it really when you think about it I'm not answerable to anybody so <laughs> I haven't got a boss saying no you can't put dots on there At the end of the day, when you're doing this sort of thing, you just do what you want to do, don't you? It's very cliche, but you know, the you do you thing is so true. And if you feel like putting spots on something, you go right ahead and do it. The spot police won't come and arrest you. Okay. Let's have a look at this now. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to wait till that sun goes away. And then we'll come back and have a proper look at this. Okay, so the sun has gone. And I thought I could show you this before it comes out again. Can you see the shimmer on the leaves from the, uh, the metallic paint? fuchsia lovely so I'm really happy with that I miss the dots okay miss some dots and a couple in there now yeah, won't worry about them what I did with these ones down here I put little stems on them made them into into plants so it's all done with acrylic paint and gesso and marker paint marker so I hope you like that if you're thinking something nice about this let me know in the comments and um, I'll catch you in another video thanks for watching hugs and cheers from Australia Yoo -hoo. bye